Good afternoon, everybody. I know it's a little warm, right? It's a little warm, a little hot. <laughs> I would like to welcome all of our distinguished guests, family members, and friends. I would also like to say to our many retirees represented here today, welcome home. Because this is your home and will always be your home forever. Whether active or retired, or even a combination of these these days, we all have given most of our lives to this profession. Never, for, never forget, the people who worked here throughout the history of this department make up the department, nothing else. Today, as we stand on the shoulders of all those who came before us, we celebrate a remarkable milestone in the history of the Baltimore County Police Department, 150 years. 150 years of policing, just think about that. During the past century and a half, this department and its members have adapted, evolved, and met the ever-changing needs of the communities we serve. Each generation committed to the next in building a foundation to advance the profession and provide the necessary support for those who walked in their footsteps. Over the past 150 years, and in the evolution of policing in Baltimore County, one constant has remained, and that is the commitment, courage, and compassion displayed by our members who have proudly served. This dedication dates back to April the 11th, 1874, when our first officers earned $2 a day, $3 if they owned their own horse. In 1916, 42 years later, the department rode into the new era of law enforcement when it purchased and put into service its first automobile and motorcycle. That new method of mobility and policing paved the way for enhanced communications. In 1942, officers began to utilize a two-way radio system, but continued to use call boxes into the early 1970s. There's many people in this room that use call boxes. If you use a call box, raise your hand. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> In the 1970s, the department formed some key specialized units that are still around today, including the tactical team, the hostage negotiations team, and the marine unit. In 1982, citizen-oriented police enforcement began. We called it COPE. It was formed and would become the present-day community outreach teams that we know today. And in 1990, the department's first helicopter took to the sky. Today, some 34 years later, we have a drone program, in-car computers that can be linked to school security cameras, and officers equipped with body-worn cameras. And just as technology our members utilize has changed, so have the expectations of society and our style of policing. Each era and each generation have, have been presented with unique obstacles and challenges that the members of this great department have proudly faced and successfully overcome with resilience and professionalism. Today, we pay tribute to each officer who has worn this badge and honor the memory of each of our fallen heroes who have made the ultimate sacrifice while serving and protecting Baltimore County. To their families, we express our deepest, our deepest gratitude. As we reflect on our past, let us also look forward to the future and consider these words written by the English poet, William Wordsworth. Life is divided into three terms, that which was, that which is, and that which will be. Let us learn from the past to profit the present and from the present to live better in the future. On this historic day, let us continue to support each other as we embark on the next great chapter of our department's historic journey. 
and let us be guided by our core values of integrity, fairness, and service. In the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter, ninth verse, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Before I conclude, I would like to personally thank Major Paul Borowski and Detective Phil Krombecker for all the hard work that those two have done. Without them, this event today would not have happened. I also want to thank Ms. Elena DeLucia and Ms. Kathy Wallace for everything that they've done to also make this day a success. Lastly, I would like to say that as someone who began my career as a cadet with my dear friend, Phil Crumbacker, some almost on May 2nd will be 39 years ago. I'm truly humbled and honored to serve as your police chief. Thank you, and let us celebrate this momentous occasion together as one big family. May God continue to protect you. May God continue to bless the noble work that we do. Thank you.